is Davido's son Ifan Adeleke truly dead or alive? This and more you will find out in this video. So without wasting much of your time, let's get right into the video. There have been news circulating on the internet that Ifan Adeleke is alive and not dead. A lot of bloggers are talking about it and fans keep wondering if Ifan Adeleke is truly dead or alive. Some believed the news while others didn't believe it. And this has caused a lot of misunderstanding between those that believed the news and those that didn't. The ones that believed the news are accusing the ones that didn't believe the news of wishing the Adeleke family evil. However, those that really care about the video and the family want to know what really happened and the truth, irrespective of the fact that everyone wants to hear the good news that the boy is alive. This news started from a tweet from Davido's official Twitter handle. First, the tweet from Davido saying that my son is safe and sound. Like, who wouldn't believe this tweet? It shows that it was tweeted on Davido's official Twitter account with a blue verification badge. And with the time frame, it says it was tweeted minutes ago. Actually, the tweet presented it in a way that it looks like it's from Davido's official Twitter handle. But the truth is that Davido never tweeted it. I personally searched for the tweet all over Davido's official Twitter handle. I even placed the tweet on Twitter search bar with Davido's name and then searched for it on the whole Twitter to see if the tweet is on Twitter and if there is anyone talking about it as well. I reloaded Davido's Twitter page like 10 times, but I couldn't find the tweet. So I head over to Google to check if Google bots have crawled the tweet or if there is any popular blog that have posted about it, but to no avail. This simply means that such tweet does not exist and there are possibilities that it was photoshopped. The next one is from Choma's page where it says it is well. First of all, this is not Choma's official Instagram account. Look at Choma's Instagram account and it is verified with a blue badge. Why the one that has posted it is well is not verified. From her verified Instagram account, you could see that the last post on her page is the one she posted on her son's birthday where she wished Ifani a happy birthday and it was posted two weeks ago and she has never posted anything since the news of the death of Ifani Adeleke her son then another one is a chat between the video and someone we don't know I don't know how the chat was made and when it was made but all I can tell you is that all of these things are fake and the truth is that Ifani is dead I really don't know the joy these people derive in spending time to create this fake tweet and fake everything that does not exist just to spread a rumor of a child that is already dead and the public are trying so hard to mourn. In as much as we are all praying that let God do miracles so that the boy will be alive again, let not be blinded by rumors suggesting that the boy is currently in UK receiving treatment with oxygen. The plain truth is that Davido's son, Ifan Adeleke, is dead and a lot of popular politicians and dignitaries in and outside Nigeria have sent their condolence messages to the family. I mean the Adeleke family. This include Pitobi, Ahmed Tunumbu, Son Wolu, Atiku Abubaka, Mikmeo, Nicki Minaj and many others. And remember, before these politicians would send these countless messages in public, they must have contacted the family to confirm first and they wouldn't act based on rumors on the media. The countless messages are currently on their official Twitter pages and you may go and confirm it if you wish to. Why the so-called tweet that Davido made that his son is sound and healthy is nowhere to be found on his official Twitter page. And nowhere reputable blog or media outlets in Nigeria are talking about that particular tweet. This is to show you how fake it is. Even DJ Iku, who is the Davido's official DJ, has confirmed it. The Nigerian police has also confirmed it and investigations are going on. The death of Ifani is a global news and instead of people to be consoling the family, they are getting cheap traffic with fake rumors and news. Well, many people are talking about the death of Ifani Adeleke and I will leave you guys to watch the video, most especially the video made by Davido's pastor. I wanted to release a video today saying welcome to November, month of blessings and all that. But unfortunately, all this has to be cancelled. This video for me is not a condolence video because I know those who are affected personally, I know the couple affected. But why am I then saying this? Because of the people that I need to reach quickly to say, the plans for 1111 is hereby cancelled. We all have to stand in faith with the bereaved. I'm a father. I understand what it means 
for people to lose their loved ones. I've been a pastor for 18 years and so we're all standing in solidarity. We're going to worship and pray, trusting God to take the couple through these difficult times. It is a very hard time for us as well. We've put our heart into November, but it is not worth a life. And for this life, we all stand to pray. We're all in a sober moment and may God strengthen the family and all the families that are mourning all over the world. God bless you. And uh, before I would like to continue, I'd like to send my condolence message to the family of David Adeleke, who just lost his son Nephine. I'm not here to show that I'm the best prophet on earth, which is one of the things I would like to be emphasizing in my prophecy highlight. When I give this prophecy on the 7th of January, I try to do some move to make some move, but of course, I am not among the so-called names of the big men of God in Nigeria who probably can speak to some celebrities and if I had spoken I would have been uh, called uh, one of the hungry prophets <coughs> looking for um, uh, looking for fame or trying to look for money you know in our days now God is speaking but many people have underrated and underestimated the word of God so Prophets have been abused because of a whole lot of things, misconception about spirituality, faith, and the prophetic. So I had to keep myself distant from trying to push because who would believe if I had said this was going to happen? And if you read that prophecy very clear, it said there are two clues. One has already been fulfilled. Two has already been fulfilled. The first is the death of David's son. And the first clue, there were two clues said T and Y. The T stands for Thursday. And if you see all the happenings hap right now, it just happened after the birthday of David o, and it happened his son, which happened on Thursday, the 20th. So that cannot be a coincidence. The last clue, which is Y, is something I will not post, I'm not gonna say online out in this very confidence would like to pass this message to davido and his family there is something he needs to know i'm not out to get fame and i'm not meant to share this in public i did three days fasting in obedience to instruct uh the prophetic word that was given to me on the 7th of january i received that word seven days before the seventh which was on the first january night after the crossover night and I was scared to post it because I needed confirmations and I had it like three times. In case you are missing from the details about what happened on the day he finally died, I have already made a long video talking about it and you can check it in the playlist here. Click on this playlist to watch the videos or it will go away if this video ends. It's a